Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a query using the query design. So under create, click on query design and it'll take you into a pop-up with a show table. We're going to select all the three tables here. The query we want to create is um, a list of the donations and the plants that's being gifted to those people who have given donations. So we're going to add those three tables and then I'm going to rearrange the layout here so I can see the relationships and notice that um, there's no lines overlapping. I'm also going to extend the fields so I can see all of the fields here. So what we want to add to our query is the fields and we're going to add them in the order below. So first off the donation date is the most important field so that's going to be the first one. Then we want to know um, the last name of the person who made the donation, the first name, um, their phone number. So I'm just double clicking on these fields to add them in that order. The donation amount and then the plant that has been gifted to them. So the plant name. Let's save this query as QRY plant pickup list so we can see the plants that are going to each donor. So when we run the query we see the donations that have been given and the plants that are being assigned to them. So go ahead and save this. Let's go back into design view and sort this query so we can sort first by date and then by the last name. So right click on the tab into design view. Here we've got a sort descending because we want the oldest date first and then for the last name we want it ascending A to Z. And again save, it'll force you to save if you try and run anyways and run it and now we have all of the dates and the last names there as well listed so to find out which donations were made after April 1st, we can use the criteria row in Design View. So I'm switching back again into Design View. And the criteria row here will allow me to enter a filter, right? So I'm looking for dates that are greater than April 1st, 2021. And in order to put dates in this format in Access, we need to wrap it in hash symbols, as you can see here. So uh, run, and here we have the results of those donations that were made after April 1st, 2021. Um, you can close this query. In the next example, we're gonna copy this query. So go ahead and save. And we will copy this query to use more of the sorting features in Access.